We're going to start in uh, South America today. Venezuela's self-declared interim president, Juan Guaido, has returned home after his trip around Latin America in defiance of a court-ordered travel ban. For more on this and other news from around the world, let's turn to our Noah Adam. Uh, Adam, fill us in on the latest. Well, Mark, Guaido had been touring Latin American countries over the past week to boost support for his campaign to unseat the sitting president, Nicolas Maduro. He flouted a Supreme Court order which blocked him from leaving the country. His tour was also to coordinate efforts to get humanitarian aid into Venezuela, something that Maduro has been blocking. Guaido was met in Caracas by thousands of jubilant supporters on Monday. He has been calling on Maduro to resign for his poor handling of the economy and leading unfair elections. Guaido is recognized by most Western nations as Venezuela's legitimate president. Upon his return, the opposition leader called for a new round of nationwide protests. We are staying in the street. We are staying mobilized. And here we are showing our face after a successful international tour. And the recognition of planet Earth of the humanitarian aid needed by the people. This should clearly be the message at this moment. We are here in Venezuela. We are strong. We are moving forward. Violating the top court's travel ban is likely to get Guaido arrested, something he appears willing to face. He said if the regime dares to, quote, kidnap him, it will be the last mistake they make, he said. The U.S. has also warned Maduro's government that any threats or acts against Guaido would be met with a strong response.